And we're back. Hopefully my timing's working. I'm trying to get about every 12, 13 minutes, whatever. I know it goes up to 15. Uh, no, looks like you are designed to go on after that one. Okay, apparently the size of the tube matters. You really seem to go there, though. Okay, one more. Let's figure out where it is. Because if there's one per area, it should be down here. I don't see it anywhere. It's under the stairs or something in another area. Oil. Could be better. Let's go back in here. Okay. It's nice having an area that doesn't have monsters in it. Oh yeah, these little weights. I'm gonna figure out what to do with them. you what to do. Oh. Must have to make it look like that. So... The near one's just a little bit off the ground. And the far one's a little bit higher, and the farthest one is a little bit higher than that. So... I need the near one just a little bit off the ground. That sounded good. Okay, good. I I think it's happy with that, guys. Daniel? What? Is that you? Maybe. What are you doing? I eh. I honestly have no idea. I think that's readily seen. Yes? Oh, the lag spike. Moving along, looking for our other pipe. Oh, yeah, boil. Nice. Hmm. Where's the other pipe? Something right. Oh, neat. We definitely did something right, everybody. Maybe we fixed the little bridge thingy. Just kind of flying blind here, hoping for the best. Fixed it. Technical geniuses. 
What? No. Jim. Need a push to dislodge. What's it stuck on? Let's go look in here. Your sister. Hmm. Oh boy. Needy water, huh? What could there possibly be in here, everybody? Serving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking room? Well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. Yeah, I definitely don't think Alexander's human. hear somebody. They appear to be yelling derp. Oh, you're kidding me. I just get the feeling I don't want to be in the water. Of course, that might just be something they cultivated from earlier in the game. And the water's perfectly safe, they just want you to think it isn't. It's really well lit in here, though. That's a nice change. This whole area's been pretty well lit so far. Huh? Okay. Interesting. Must be something in there. Tomb Raider! Is that a rock? Or was it a monster? Hmm. Redirect sewer water. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Hmm. Need to go order something and have him put some Rene sauce on it. It sounds delicious. This summer, Daniel What's-His-Name is the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Never got around to seeing that. It's a shame, because I like the the actor that plays the kid. I think that was just because I jumped. Oh, damn, that hurt, though. I'll have to be more careful. It wasn't just the water, was it? Oh, it was a fishy. Hi, fishy. Lots of fishies. I'll take that to assume that the water's safe, and we'll just not jump from any high spots anymore. I hope we get some laudanum soon. Although, if I assume if we die, it'll give us full health again, so... Not...
terribly worried about that. Huh. Okay, why do I need a bridge over there? the timing on that. Much faster than it looks. Oh boy. That kind of hurt. Oh, the brain looks okay though. Thankfully being hurt doesn't seem to affect our physical prowess. Never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Hmm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. You damn well better, you idiot. So when did the warding ritual take place? And when did we drink the potion that made us forget everything? Uh, we're going to pause the video here and be right back. <laughs> 